Let's have a look at the next question. The next question is a question from geometry. In triangle ABC, they have told us AB is equal to AC is equal to 8. A circle drawn with BC as diameter passes through A. So, BC as diameter passes through A. At that point itself, you should realize what type of triangle is it. Okay, because if BC is the diameter and the circle passes through A, which means it's a right angle triangle. Another circle drawn with center at A passes through B and C. Now, getting the diagram right was very important. This is the original triangle, which is a right angle triangle at A. So, this angle will be 90. This is the first circle, BC as diameter, right? They have told us this is 8 and this is 8. So, finding BC is very, very simple. It will be 8 root 2. I hope everybody realized why is it a right angle triangle. I will repeat that because if BC is the diameter and uh, which means triangle ABC, uh, sorry, the BAC becomes a semicircle and therefore angle inscribed in a semicircle is always 90 and therefore angle BAC is 90, right? Now, there is one more circle drawn passing through, sorry, not passing through B and C with A as a center. Now, getting this circle right was very important. This is the second circle. We want to find the area which is overlapping between both the circles. So, if you look very carefully, this will be the area overlapping between both the circles. Now, this whole area is actually now going to uh, two parts. One is the semicircle itself, which you can see that is about part I told you BAC. If you want, I can just shade it with red. This is the part. This is the semicircle. So, area of the semicircle will be very straightforward. What is the area of a semicircle? Half pi r square. So, that will be straightforward. We already know diameter. Diameter is 4 root 8 root 2. So, your radius will be 4 root 2. So, half into pi into 4 root 2 into 4 root 2. Root 2 into root 2 is 2. That will cut over here. 4 fours are 16. So, we have already got a 16, right? So, again, clearly uh, 16 pi, sorry. Uh, because pi, I am not going to put the value because all the options had the answer in terms of pi. So, that was okay. What about the second shaded part? Let us just shade that part. That is this part. That is the area of the segment. Now, that is for the bigger circle. I will have to figure out what is the bigger circle ka radius, then area of the segment property. Okay, So, let us work on that first. So, for the bigger circle, they have said center A and the circle is passing through B. So, AB becomes my radius. So, for the bigger circle, radius is 8. For the bigger circle, radius is 8. My theta for the sector will be 90 because angle point A is where the sector is. So, what will it be? Area of the sector minus area of the triangle. Area of the sector minus area of the triangle. So, what will be area of sector? Theta upon 360 into pi into r square. 90 will go 4 times. 4 ones are 4 twos are. So, that will become 16 pi. So, area of the sector became 16 pi. What about the area of the triangle? Which triangle we are talking about? Obviously, talking about triangle ABC. So, area of triangle ABC will be half into base into height. So, half into 8 into 8. That will become 32. So, we have to subtract this minus this. So, that will give you area of segment and we have to add the original 16 pi. So, area overlapping, the answer which we want will be 16 pi plus 16 pi minus 32. That will become 32 pi minus 32, 32 common pi minus 1, which will be the third option. Not very difficult if the diagram would have been given. So, my whole point is that in this question, the whole question depends upon the diagram. Once you get the diagram right, I thought the question was very straightforward, a standard question. Maybe getting the diagram was a little bit difficult for a lot of students. 